Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Matt. You're watching probably something on my channel, Code Tech and Tutorials, where I post things about code and tech and random tutorials, things I've learned. So, hey, hello. If you're new here, you can subscribe if you like it here, and uh, you know all the usual stuff. Appreciate having new viewers all the time. This video is about my game engine, which I've titled the game engine I've titled Ancient Archer. It was it sort of started out as a game, and it has just sort of changed or shifted. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to start vlogging about it. And this is kind of a new phase here. I took about a month off to uh, deal with some personal issues. My father passed away. And I'm trying to get back on the ball here. Reality has set in, and... You know, it's it's been a tough time. He was a good man. I'm not going to say too much about it on here. Um, yeah. But I'll put something on the screen. So, now, this is kind of where my engine is. I can, uh, I can do primitive-based stuff. Blocks, circles, circles, uh, spheres. And uh, right now I've just got a camera with no collision turned on, but we were working on some collision and physics as well. And by we, I do mean mainly me, but I did have a friend that was helping out for a while. Thank you, Eric, for your help out when you were helping out. I hope you can rejoin at some point, but I believe he is busy with a real job at the moment. However, I'm going to keep continuing this project and we're basically going to, we're basically going to take it as far as we can go now. Um, so yeah, this is this is the thing. And well, I'm going down into the world. I know that's weird, but with collision off, you can just fly through objects. So that's the way it is. Everything's done in OpenGL. And basically what I'm going to do here is, uh, well, let's see. This is, this is the code and all the files. And I've got everything up on GitHub. It is currently private, though. That can change. That can change. Details to come. But yeah, there's uh, quite a bit going on here at the moment. It's actually getting to be a bit of a mess with the different shaders and code and ideas and, and things going on. And if I go here to manage branches, you'll see there's some additional work. Build 1 and Build 2 are kind of the classic first iterations. Oops, I just switched to it. I don't think I actually want to do that right now, but these are kind of the classic first real builds of this engine where I was kind of showing it off to my friends. And then we went through and and uh, worked on just a bunch of side games to see how they would turn out, basically spend like a week on them. And uh, none of them were are really too worth showing, I don't think. They're very, very primitive and not really, you know, not a clear end, clear beginning. They're more like just some systems working sort of some tests and stuff like that um, with some interaction but not enough to be like a real fun game and you know after taking this month off and kind of reflecting a lot and uh, having a lot of just time to think about how I was doing things on this engine I, I think I'm just going to start from scratch and I do want to vlog it and, and just really go over everything. But, you know, vlogging and editing, it takes a lot of time and energy. And if, if I'm going to do it consistently, I'm going to need some help. So I did put up a Patreon link in my description. And if you want to see vlogs on, on basically this engine, you can go there and, and sign up and, and we'll, We'll do this together. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a lot. I have a lot of big plans. As this engine is right now, everything is just rendering with OpenGL, using GLFW3 for the input system, I'm using mostly GLM for most of the math functions, and, and I'm basically just setting up systems for loading things, rendering things, colliding, 
physics. And I have a, a few games in mind that I would like to try to make. And I, I tend towards you know, either dungeon crawl or open world. So I intend to support all those capabilities in one way or another, as that's what I'll want the, whatever game I'm building to have. So it's just building a lot of features and making them easy for other developers, mostly me, I guess, but other developers too, to, to work with. We're just going to delete the, all our source code. As scary as it sounds, it's all on GitHub, so I can go grab what I need back. But I'm going to restructure this entire thing. It has just gotten to be a bit of a mess, and I want to reset. I think packages is going, is going to be gone. Game is going to be gone. It's basically just going to have engine and probably tests. Yeah, so... I think that those will all stay under CPP though, that makes sense to me. So we're just going to delete everything in engine, everything in game, and everything in packages. And it's gone, that's 88 files. Oh wow, okay, we're also going to get rid of resources. We are keeping our library and includes. Because those are not really going to change right now, and that's an easy thing to change when, when we're ready to do it. These debug, this is from the build, this isn't something I have. Debug and release and x64, this is from Visual Studio. So those aren't even part of my source code, it's part of just the builds. You might already know that, but in case you don't, there's a bunch of DLLs for runtimes. Those are all going to stay the same. And I'll probably update my libraries before continuing. This is just part of the build. And I'll probably update the design and readme as well. So we'll see. We'll see where we get, basically. So if you want to see this next vlog of how this is going and how we're starting, please consider visiting the Patreon and uh, in signing up. And... That's pretty much how it's got to be because uh, the other option is I got to start working somewhere uh, pretty much full time and probably won't be able to spend much time editing. I'll, I think I'll still work on this, but as far as producing videos about it and explaining it, that, yeah, that won't happen. Um, too often. I might do it on a whim every once in a while, but I definitely won't go into in-depth uh, you know, steps or really what I'm doing. It'll just be kind of like a, oh, here's where, here's what it looks like right now type of thing. So, and if there's really enough interest, we'll make the source code available. I'm not sure at what level that will happen, but uh, at least the parts that are explained in videos will will be there. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys all have a great day. Great everything. You know, you're here. You have my vote of uh, you're cool. Well, see you guys later.